Hello, can everybody hear me? I'm just now starting, so I'm waiting for some people to come in before I start talking. If you're watching the replay, thank you for being here. Make sure you give me a thumbs up and a coffee emoji. Oh, it's cold today. It's cold. It was like in the negatives overnight lately. Uh, has everybody been up to what is today? Thursday? Yeah, Thursday. Whew, it's going to be a pretty busy day. I'm going to go out and about today, run some errands. Good morning, Patty. Oh, good morning, Anna. Good morning, Edward. How are you? Hi, Holly. Good morning. Hi, Stephanie. Yeah, it's like 5.30-ish, 5.45-ish, something like that. Good morning. I like cats. Good morning, Aunt Dinah. Good morning, Jessica. It's freezing in Canada. Yeah, it's freezing here, too. I'm doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. I got my coffee. Make sure if you're in here, give me a thumbs up. I recently went to my P.O. box and I received some goodies. So I thought I'd jump into live and brag a little bit about you guys and all that you do for me. So I got a couple of spreads here I was going to show you. Oh, oh, good morning. Is that Jerry? Good morning from cold, icy East Texas, man. Oh, good morning and evening from Australia. Good morning or good evening, Paula. <laughs> Seems like woke up early starting off the refreshing day. Yes, it's nice to wake up early sometimes. I actually slept in a bit. I usually get up around 2 or 3, which I know is super early. Uh, but that's when I get all my computer work and everything done for the channel. And I was up yesterday and someone's like, are you going to do a live? I was like, no, but I'll do a live today. So I'm on here doing a live. But yeah, I wanted to show off some of my, my goodies. Oh, good morning from Mesa, Arizona. Nice. Hey Cozy, welcome. Martine, welcome. Oh, from Holland. You know, I was born in Holland. I was born in Bergen op Zoom. Isn't that crazy? My dad is in the Air Force. Tomorrow night will be 21 below zero. Holly, oh my gosh. And Saturday high will be two below zero. Whew. Is that like with the wind chill or that's just straight up that's the temperature, no wind? Because the wind makes a huge difference. Yeah, I don't even know. I haven't been wanting to go out because I just don't want to love the kids out in the cold you know it's just so much extra work to bundle them up and then you gotta take everything off in the car when it gets warm and then you gotta put it back on to go to the store I don't know. half the time I make my kids run from the car to where we're going without a coat because I'm like it'll be fine <laughs> oh Bergen seems like 15 minutes for me that's so awesome yep that's where I was born <laughs> I used to live in Helena Montana very nice this is how every week is always uploading videos and getting ready for work. It's done by the end of the week, which is good, yes. <laughs> oh, hello, Linda. You're not that late. <laughs> oh, good morning. I love your shirt. Animal print is my new favorite color. It's cold and icy here in southeastern Oklahoma. Well, this is a new shirt I got for a new sponsor that I'm going to be filming. I had to wash them first, so I got this fresh, fresh out of the dryer, but I like it too. Super comfy. Makes me feel like a cheetah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, straight up with the wind chill, it's below 30. Woo -hoo. Hello from Portland. Hello. Look at all you guys. Good morning, Barbara. Billy says, Hi, I love your channel. I've been to watch every video. Now I wait eagerly for your new videos. Thank you, Billy. I try and get them out like every other day. Sometimes, you know, I go like a couple of days in between them. I'm trying to get like a stockpile built up of videos so I can just go ahead and have them releasing without having to edit and then release as soon as I'm done with one video, you know, get a couple of videos ahead, but, yeah, I'm getting there. You guys are super patient, though, that's for sure. Your children are so cute. Thank you. Grew myself, you know. <laughs> Thank you. They are pretty cute, though. I mean, I'm a little, you know, biased, though, that I think they're so cute, but, yeah, they're doing pretty good, especially now at this age, like, having the five and the six-year-olds. Well, Betty Jan's almost seven, and the boys will be six this summer, so... Getting up there. They're so smart, too. Like, it just, the things that they say, it just, I don't know, it just amazes me, you know. Like, man, kids, I don't really have much experience being around kids. So, this is really my first time having my own kids and being around kids this age. But it's really funny. People say kids say the darndest stuff. And it's so true. They really do. So, 
All right, well, we got some people here. Make sure you thumbs this up. Hello, Carrie. Welcome to the live. I'm just going to start off by bragging a bit on you guys and all the wonderful stuff that I was in my PO box. I was like, oh, I'll just go check it real quick. And holy moly, I'm glad I did. Post office probably mad at me. The first thing is that someone sent me a dress. Let's see if I can find the. Yeah, 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 look at this. Super long, it's like a maxi dress. It's a bit, uh, a bit boobalicious, you know, but it's got a little snap here. So you can be modest or hello, husband. Oh, you know. <laughs> so that's really cute. I really like that. And it fits, like, good job on the size. Like, and this is, I have some. So um, when you guys send gifts, you can do like a, a gift for you thing. So I appreciate that. So I know who's sending it. Like some of this is from Jennifer, and others from Jen. So I, two different Jens. That's awesome. Um, and then the, we have one from Amy. You guys are so good to me. All right, so we got the dress, and then somebody sent me the whole entire Harry Potter series because I mentioned in my Goodwill one that I wanted to read. Harry Potter to the kids and I've never had it before but um and I don't have any of them so someone sent me this whole entire series like you guys this is gonna be so great I am super excited to get in on this um you think I guess I could probably read it to them now right they're six and five you think they'd understand like they're really into like picture books now too but this would be fun just to have them lay down and me read you know so thank you holy cow thank you that is awesome I'm super excited for that uh Okay, good morning. How are you? All right, second or third thing I received is someone sent me some crispy okra. It's pretty cool. I actually accidentally cut one open, cutting the box open. It's got a little hole here, so I'm just going to go ahead and try it because I think I, um, yes, you show the love and magic. Okay. Oh, good morning, Wilma. Oh. Like this long. I wonder if these are freeze dried. Mmm, they taste good. Crispy. Wow. So that would be fun. You could probably chop that up, maybe add it in a soup or something. Uh, Chronicles of Narnia. Oh yes, I haven't done I haven't done the Chronicles of Narnia either. When my grand when my granddaughter finished kindergarten last year, I got the Harry Potter series and read it to her. She loves them. She can't wait until she can read them herself. Well, awesome. That sounds good and crunchy. It is really crunchy. Crispy okra. So I got that. Awesome, awesome. I love trying new ingredients and new things. So that was very thoughtful. It also came with some super garden um, lingonberries, lingonberries, freeze dried lingonberries. So that's really cool. I don't think I've ever had lingonberries anyway. And it says on the go snack, smoothie, or you can add it to granola. So that's really fun. Is this backwards when I show it to you? It looks backwards. I'm backwards. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hello, cat from rainy North Carolina. Mm. Good morning, Janet. Oh, you're from New York, Billy. Good to know. And then I got some coffee. This is coffee and chicory, which is a New Orleans thing. Um, New Orleans famous, yep, yeah. which is awesome because I went there once with a girlfriend and we took a little trip and I got some chicory coffee and it was so good. So this is super thoughtful. Thank you so much. Wow, I love me some nice coffee. No, it's not backwards. Okay, thank you, Billy. Sometimes I confuse. And then we got oat flour blend. Cool, something interesting to do with this. It says for quick breads, muffins, and brownies, use a one-to-one -one replacement ratio for cookies. Not re recommended to use for yeast spreads, so that's good to know. So this is something fun to experiment with. Thank you. And then the um, I want to say the okra came from. Let's see, it has a little place there. This is where they ordered it. Um, ThaiPantry.net came with that, and they sent some little 
candies as well. It's like strawberry and pineapple. They only have two though. The kids are like, I want that one, I want that. I'm like, sorry, there's only two. I guess that means mama and dad that get them. Aww. <laughs> sorry, kids. And then, someone sent a book for the kids. It says, Grandma's Spider. Grandmother Spider brings the sun. So this is a cool little, you see they're all dancing. Dancing around there. Little pictures. And a good story. So this is awesome. My kids are really going to like this. Oh, look at this one. Oh. Like it just looks fun. All the illustrations and stuff. That's awesome. So thank you. The kids and I are going to definitely enjoy reading this book. And it's a Cherokee story, which I love. Because, you know, we're in Montana, so there's lots of Native Americans around here. And I would love for the kids to know more about Native Americans. Um, plus, we both, husband and I, have Native American on our sides, like down the bloodline. So that would be good to also like teach them about that and show them a little bit of our culture. So, awesome. And then, someone sent me some barbecue brisket marinade. Awesome. This is so good. This has got Let's see, it says place brisket fat side up in an oven bag or oven safe pan. Shake marinade well and pour over meat. Half a cup per pound. So awesome. Barbecue brisket marinade. That sounds good. Thank you for this. I can't wait to try it. I think this would be good with the pork belly. Oh, I'm excited. So thank you. Those are the goodies I got from you guys. And um, I'm just blown away. Thank you so much for your, just your generosity, your thoughtfulness of thinking about me and stuff that I would like thinking of my kids like you guys are so great like we got several books now to read through the kids I'm super excited about that oh, make sure if you're in here give me a thumbs up guys so yeah just wanted to show off some of my goodies I can't wait to break into the, the coffee oh, I can't smell it through the lid dang it darn good seal on the lid hmm <laughs> Love your backdrop. Thank you. It's one of the things I ordered from Timu. It's just a uh, Trappist. Trappist be what? Hold on, I got a kid calling me. one of the kids you're up so I'm like here sit in front of some ABC on YouTube kids there we go I love the shirt me too this is one a new shirt I just got from a sponsor that I need to still do I just got it out of the dryer it matches my furry cat here this is Yoda you can see a fur ball gotta get in the slot oh hello honey badger welcome Ashley, you made it. Oh, good morning. We were just talking about, uh, I got some gifts in my P.O. box. Like, I got some chicory coffee. I got some oat flour blend. There, it's not for you, Yoda. Got some barbecue brisket marinade. That looks pretty good. And then I got a spider. Grandmother spider. Or I got a spider. <laughs> I got a book about a spider. Grandmother Spider Brings the Sun. And then, oh, heavy cat. Got some crispy okra. It's really good. Really good. Like, you guys are just so thoughtful of sending me stuff that you think I would enjoy, you know, or you want to see me cooking with and stuff or using, or, you know, I'm going to read to the kids. Like, that really means a lot, you guys. I can just tell. There's a bunch of good people here. Do you like the team you? I get gads all the time. I do. Some of the stuff, you know, you can tell is just kind of you know, cheap stuff, um, but it really is a good deal, and I can get, like, this was $7.99, and this is just going to stay up, like, all year long, so that's really nice, and then they have, like, carpets that are pretty nice, um, kitchen gadgets and stuff, so I like them. I would say give them a try. Their, their shipping was really fast. Um, the lady I'm talking to, of course, she's a influencer marketer, so her job is to find influencers and get them to promote Timu on their channel, you know. But she's really nice and has been super cooperative and friendly, and yeah, I don't really have any complaints. I feel like I would be happy if, um, 
I'm getting, if I'm buying the stuff, you know, I would be happy with it. So I do have some more Teemu videos coming up. They really liked my review, which is great. I'm glad people, sponsors are liking my reviews. I'm trying to be like super good about them and super creative and not just the typical, and then I got this, and then I got this. You know, I'm trying to really show the product and its usefulness, you know, so. Um, but yes, I do like Teemu, Linda. I think they're definitely worth a shot. Definitely better than um, Wish, if you know Wish. These are way, this is like, I would say four times better than Wish. So I would give them a try, especially just try like some of the cheaper stuff. So I just placed another order and I got some scrunchies, um, some more kitchen gadgets and stuff. So your cat is cute. She is cute. She knows it too. <laughs> your kids love Harry Potter? Awesome. I need to break it open and start reading to them. They will love it. You love that okra? It's so crunchy. <laughs> love snacking on okra so it's exciting um i haven't grown okra before i know it's grown a lot in the southern states i don't know if it can grow in montana maybe but that would be good to freeze dry and then make your own snack you know this cat never enough attention yeah my arm's going numb oh. uh jessica says timu is great i'm making my third order to timu mostly good so far the metal Dumpling press was deadly sharp edges, but everything else was good. Oh, good to know. I know that chopper that I got from it, it cut my thumb. It's healing a little bit, but the bleeds cut my thumb because I was taking it out wrong. And I'm like, dang, that's really sharp. So it works good. I freeze dried some okra out of the garden last year. Ooh, Dinah, that's so good. Did you put any seasoning on it or you just threw it in there plain? I was learning about ordering from Team U until I saw your video. I'll be watching out for the new videos too. Okay, good, Billy. Really. Yeah, they're, they're really good. I like them. And, you know, it's a super nice company. I know one person's like, you should be buying from America, which I don't necessarily disagree with. But also, like, we do what we have to, right? And um, there's a lot of cheap things that you can get from over there and from China, you know, and, um, you know, and they're... I don't know. I feel like, we yes, we need to be supporting American companies, but we also have a tight budget and we need to do stuff that'll get us by, you know? So, it's a love-hate kind of thing. They do have a lot of stuff, Billy. Like, I saw that they had some shoes, like kids' shoes and kids' women's shoes. Um, Timu specifically wanted me to order from the home and kitchen section because that's kind of my channel um, niche. So I ordered from there. Um, I saw Brooke at Southern Frugal Mama did a homeschooling one and got a whole bunch of homeschooling like supplies, color pencils, pens, stuff like that. So that's cool. They have that kind of stuff. They have electronic stuff like I just ordered. Um, and this next round is going to be a heated vest. Oh, wait, no, I couldn't get that one. That one is too expensive. I had a $30 limit on an item I can order. But I got a heating. But they had heating vest. They had... Um, I'm not playing with you. I'm moving. What? What? Why are you all feisty? It's a hand. Whoa. Someone getting an attitude. What you want? You don't want me to touch you? You just want me to hold you? Cats. This cat's 11. Oh, thank you. She's 11 too. She's spoiled. Hold on. Yeah, let her out. Man, cats' attitudes, they just switch in a moment, right? Be like, yes, I love all those pets. Hey, psh, too much. You, where who you think you petting? <laughs> oh, good morning, Tamara. Oh, good morning, Dolly. Have you made chickpea snacks in the fruit dehydrator? I have not, but that is on my list. A lot of people are asking me what to do with chickpeas because they get a lot of them from the food pantry. They're like, what can I do? Oh, no, I have a Yoda hair in my coffee. Extra flavor, right? Oh, hold on a second. Oh, say this is why I don't do lives when the kids are awake. <laughs> They're usually sleeping by now, but Conrad went to bed super early, so he's up. So he's just in there, Mama! <laughs> like, shush! Everybody else is sleeping. Ugh, kids. Um, but yes, and sorry, Dolly. Uh, yes, I do want to make chickpeas in the dehydrator. I feel like um, I've heard it can be like a kind of taste like popcorn because it's um, crunchy. So that'll be fun. 
Hedrick says, I'm thinking about the summer season in June, July, and August because of school year finishing in the summer days, which I'm glad 4th of July is Independence Day. Yes, I'm thinking about the summer too. Mine's more for um, gardening. I'm really looking forward to that. Dina, I use salt and coffee powder on the okra. Interesting. So do you, um, like, how do you get the seasoning to stick? Do you just, like, cover the okra in water and then put the seasonings on there? Because I know you're not supposed to really freeze dry oil too much. You want it as... Um, non-fatty as possible. Martine says we don't really have okra over here. Where are you in Australia again? Everybody hits the thumbs up. Thank you, Tamara. Oh, hey, Lori. Yes, I was hesitant to use Timu until I saw your video. Well, good. I'm glad. Like, I was hesitant at first when they first reached out to me and I looked at them. I'm like, I don't know. This kind of seems like a, you know, a cheap wish kind of deal. But I was like, you know what? I'll give them a try, and I'm glad I did. I really am. Like, some of the stuff, like the egg holder is really cool. I like the idea of it. But with my um, chicken eggs, like my farm fresh ones, some of them are bigger than the other ones, and they don't fit exactly in there. So that one didn't work out. I like the idea, though, and I like the look of it. But it just wasn't as functional as I thought it was. Um, but I think it was like 5 bucks, you know. And then the straws are a really good deal. The reusable straws, those are great. So there's lots of little stuff that um, I think is really worth the money. Let's see, that's why I was asking Wish Rune to ordering for me, but I like some of the stuff I saw. Yeah, I agree. My mom ordered Wish all the time, and she would get me something. I'm like, Mom, this is just cheap, flimsy stuff. Like, I wouldn't have even paid the $5 you paid for this, you know? GM, I've ordered there twice. Dangerous. What, the GM, Julie? Is that like a company? Sorry. <laughs> I might be behind on the messaging. Good morning from Michigan. Good morning, AS. Marsha, good morning. She has a good attitude. Yeah, she does, doesn't she? She's temperamental like my old kitty. Oh, yeah. I find all Calico girls have attitudes. They really do. And they're like, fine. And then all of a sudden they're like, nope, you're done. Like, Dang, sorry. <laughs> <coughs> Ranch chickpeas are tasty. Mmm. Okay, I'll have to get chickpeas to try now. I have a 13 year old dog. They all seem to get more opinionated as they get older. I feel like that's just uh, mammals in general, yeah. <laughs> Same thing happens to us humans. Oh, good morning, Blue. How are you? Hello, Sylvia. First time I, I caught your live. Oh, well, welcome. Welcome to my first live. I wish I didn't kill plants. I hear that, Ashley. I used to kill plants a lot until I started um, being able to be home and actually take care of them or realize the the water system, each plant's different, and the water amount, the sun amount, the temperature amount, like, plants are a whole other finicky thing as well. All right, thank you, Dinah, just dampen it. Okay. I started my seeds for your tomatoes, tamales, and several, or, sorry, tomatoes, tamales, I have tamales on the brain, tomatoes, tomatillos, and several peppers. Good job, Carrie. Uh, husband and I need to sit down and do that and figure out what we're going to do um, definitely want to start the peppers soon. Those seem to take the longest for us to germinate, or not germinate, but to, um, you know, um, grow. <laughs> Great scientific term there. They take a while to grow. <laughs> I want a freeze dryer, but man, they're expensive. They are expensive, Julie. It's definitely an investment, but if you think about how much money it's going to save you in food cost, it'll pretty much pay for itself. I say usually within a year they pay for themselves. Because like any leftovers, I can just throw those in the freeze dryer and freeze them. And then that's full-blown meals that I have already ready to go on the shelf where you just have to add water. And they're light and you can take them camping. That's really what I'm looking for. Because I make like a lot of meal, like a big batch at one time. And then I have to like freeze stuff. So I'm looking forward to being able to just freeze dry it. And then it's not in my freezer. It's shelf stable on my shelf. And that could be like, like I made chili mac last night. That's my go-to if I'm... If I just don't feel like cooking or I ran out of energy, I'm like, I'm just going to make some chili mac. And that's great. So that's what I would, instead of having it left over in the fridge, I would have thrown that in one of my freeze dryer trays in the freezer. Hold on one second. And then I'd have a meal. Number two's up. There we go. Gonna be a day. But yeah, we're gonna go on that. We're gonna go to the food bank today. Um, I love that the kids can, I can drop the kids off there so I can have a couple hours to myself. So that's gonna be fun. And then 
Um, we have a store here called Shields. It's kind of like a sports men's store. So it's got like hunting stuff. It's got um, clothes. It's got like bowling stuff, golfing stuff, you know, pretty much all the sports outdoorsy stuff. But they have like this little shooting area where you have like a little gun and it has a bunch of targets. And when you hit it, um, then the target goes off or something like that. So that's super a little fun game they play. And then they have a little bowling a little bowling area and it costs like I don't know, like five bucks for a game and you just we all take turns just bowling in this it's got a little tiny hard ball that you throw instead of like a big bowling ball sometimes it's works sometimes it's not so they want to do that and then they have like their own little play place in there like at mcdonald's kind of thing where it's just like a slide and you climb up it and there's several stuff there but that's free you can go in there and just hang out with the kids so that's really nice and they've been wanting to go there so I'll probably go there after the food bank. It's connected to our mall. Like, I'm not sure if I want to take the kids into the mall. They haven't been to this mall yet. And it's just, I don't know, malls are overrated now, right? They don't they don't seem as cool as when I was a kid. I don't know. Let's see, Tamara says, what size pressure cooker for canning? I have a household of five adults. Um, Pressure cookers, well, most of them are about the pressure canners. Like, there's kind of a difference between a cooker and a canner. So make sure you're looking up a pressure canner. Um... And they're usually the, like I use the Presto, like the 16 quart, I think is what it is. Um, I would like one that I can double stack quarts in so I can do 14 quarts at one time instead of having two separate canners to do 14 quarts. Um, but those are a little more pricey there. So I would just start with like a regular Presto one. That's a good one. Uh, no, I'm on the Holland. Oh, yeah, Holland. Sorry, Martin. Okay, Okras, we're over here. Some ethnic, ethnic, ethnic shops at me. Maybe, but that's it. Okay. I hate okra. It's slimy. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I've had that experience too, but I don't really have much with okra. I usually just do fried okra, like breaded and fried. I mean, anything's good, breaded, breaded and fried, right? Oh, Billy, yours is a calico too, so you know the attitude. <laughs> My bird, I was wondering when you were going to make the tamales. Um, well, I have the meat made for them, but I did not, and that's in the fridge. And then I have my masa flour, so I should be doing it any day now. <laughs> um, I'm just kind of, you know, the first nervousness of trying a new recipe and not wanting to mess it up. And if I'm going to cook them, I might as well make a lot of them. Also, they need to be steamed, which is one of my um, hiccups right now is that I'm trying to figure out how I can steam them. I don't have a double boiler or a steamer. I have my Instapot that I have the steaming rack that I could do them in the Instapot. Um, I don't know if there's a tamale recipe for the Instapot though and I want to be able to do like a whole bunch. I don't know maybe like 12 in my 8 quart Instapot in that basket. So I'm researching it now. I'm looking into the steps. I got the meat paired because I needed to get a chuck roast out of my freezer so I just threw it in the crock pot and kind of did like a Mississippi pot roast on it um, but I'm going to use that as the filling for my tamales so it's on the list I'll probably do it maybe this weekend when husband's home so I can really focus and be in the kitchen and not have to get distracted with children you know <laughs> I can't start season size because my cats will eat them and knock them over those darn cats man I have one cat who likes to get in my soil. Mm. I'm off and running. Have a great day. Thanks, Vanessa, for stopping by. Look, I've been trying to figure out how to highlight a name in live chat just like you did. So we always did that. So I finally figured it out. Oh, good job, Blue Calibine. We figure, don't you love it when we figure out a, a computer technology hack? You're like, oh, yes. <laughs> oh, good morning, with GM means. <laughs> Thank you, Julie. Oh, gosh. I should know that right. Kentucky Sustainable Living. Hello. How are you? Welcome to the channel. You've ordered from Timu twice, Julie. What have you thought about it? Somebody tell me who the sponsor for the t-shirt Carolina is wearing. This is um, New Chick. Chick some, I don't know. I should know that. But it's New Chick. I, I'm going to be doing a video on this and throwing it in, the, in a video. So. So you will see this, but yeah, it's super nice. It's super comfy and they're really nice too. Cause at first I ordered too big. I ordered, I'm a two X usually fits me pretty good. And I ordered, it's like, you know, new chick from China. So I was like, well, I better order up a couple of sides, right? 
that was a mistake. These are si true to sizes because everything was way too big. So I messaged them and was like, hey, I'm super sorry. I accidentally ordered the wrong size. And they're like, okay, we'll just reship you in what size you need. And that was that. They had me keep the bigger ones and they shipped me new ones. So I'm like, man, that was super great. So I'm already impressed with them and like them. And some of the dresses are super cute. You know, I'm not much of a showy girl. So some of the stuff I like more of the modest things, you know. Um, so that was nice. They have a lot of good stuff. So I will have that in a video shortly. You'll see my sponsor on them. I am alone, never married, no kids. So I don't think I would be an investment. But they're really cool. Yes, I agree. They are really cool though. Good morning, Lori. Yes, the expensive Prestos average $300. See, I got my canners used from Facebook Marketplace. One of them was $75, and one of them was literally $10, and it was brand new in the box. You could tell they just wanted to get rid of it, and that stayed in that box for a year until I finally got up the nerve to learn how to pressure can, and I'm glad I did, and I saved a lot of money by not really needing a pressure canner but looking out for one because I knew I wanted to eventually get into canning so that was a good way to do it too is just to look online for used ones chickpeas you can make hummus yep oh hey Jody what's going on um I was just talking a little bit about some of the gifts I've got thank you for answering my canning question I really appreciate it. of course Tamara I will answer any question anytime Tortoise shell kitties have major cat attitude. They take second only to Siamese cats. Oh, which actually scared me. I've never met a Siamese cat who wasn't an absolute psycho. It's not like chihuahuas. You know, those are like the psychos of the dogs, the little chihuahuas. <laughs> you had Siamese cats that were very friendly. Okay, I think it, it probably depends on the cat, maybe, and their owner. I got one of those eggshells. Now I can't afford the eggs to put on it. Oh, Shelby, I'm so sorry. They are ridiculous, aren't they? Uh, husband showed me one picture of an 18 count. That was $16.83 at Walmart for an 18 count of eggs. Whew, and that's just the generic white kind, you know? <laughs> Sounded bad. <laughs> <coughs> oh, we're still hacking over all this stuff, too. Uh, we're, like, getting it all out, you know? Ugh, worst part. I do fried okra and add to soups. They have pre-breaded, but I prefer egg bath and roll and cracker crumbs. Oh, good to know. Thank you, Barbara. All right, so for all the new people here, uh, first, give me a thumbs up. Also, I have not seen a single coffee emoji. Come on, guys. I got half a cup here. It's getting cold. But, um, so someone sent me Grandma Spider Brings the Sun. It's a cute little reading book. It's about Native Americans and their story, which is great for the Montana area. Lots of Native Americans here. And both husband and I have Native American in us. So it's nice to... So it's nice for the kids, you know. And it's got great pictures, great illustrations and stuff. So we're excited for this. Thank you, Jen, for sending this. I really appreciate it. My kids are going to love that. Good morning, Sherry. Thank you. This is my backdrop from Timu. It is really nice. It's just a, I said it wrong, tra tapestry. I said it wrong on the on the video and husband's like, what? You got to say the words right. I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. You weren't awake to tell me the word. <laughs> uh, here in my town, we have had a rash of chicken thieves, like stealing live chickens or like eggs. That's crazy. I mean, people, it is really sad. You know, people get desperate, you know, and then they start taking. That's why it's important to have to prepare ahead and have a stockpile and say okay so what happens if I can't get this what backup do I have do you have the knowledge in your head to know okay if I don't have eggs what else can I use to replace those eggs you know that's important that's important to surviving the times is just knowing tricks of how to substitute something that costs too much or if you don't have this what can I use you know that's what's going to save you a lot of money is being able to know basics of um, swapping ingredients you know one thing reminds you, sending hugs for you, Mama Baird. Oh, thank you. I love a good hug. Oh, you love the shirt? Thanks. Everyone's loving my new shirt. This is great. Yeah, it's super comfy, too. Um, I got this from a sponsor, so I'm going to be doing a video. I got a couple of dresses. And there's only one dress I really don't like. It's kind of like a yellow dress. I just don't think yellow is my color, you know. And it really, it's kind of translucent, and it can show my... My belly curves a little bit, you know. <laughs> okay, so I got the spider book, and then someone sent me the whole Harry Potter series. Holy moly. 
because I was talking about in my Goodwill haul, they had number three um, at the Goodwill, and I was going to pick it up, but I was like, oh, I'd rather wait till I can get the whole series, and, um, and stuff like that, and so someone sent it to me, like, how generous, thank you so much, I'm so, like, you guys just blow me away at your thoughtfulness for me, and even those who don't send me stuff, just the kind words and support you give me is just the best gift I can receive. Like, it's just so nice to know that there's other people out there who are like me and have the same struggles as me or have had the same struggles, um, you know, and I just realize that we're in the same place of the world where we just need to help each other out, you know? Like, it's awesome. You guys just blow me away. <laughs> Good morning, Sonia. How are you? And then someone, they showed you this Chris Okra. Someone sent me. And then... These freeze-dried long berries. Is that it? Lingo. Lingen. Lingen berries. Longen berries. Lingen berries. These are cool. And I like that they're freeze-dried. See, freeze-dried is a thing. So the fact that you can get one for yourself and, like, do these yourself. Like, imagine all the huckleberries. If I can get some huckleberries and freeze-dry huckleberries. Ooh, that's a good idea. And then I got some chicory coffee. This is from New Orleans. Oh, this is so good. This is so thoughtful. I mean, you guys can send me coffee anytime, and I will drink it, all of it. This is awesome. So thank you. I love that. Medium dark roast. You know, I'm a dark roast girl, so that's great. And then I got some barbecue brisket marinade. Um, Claude's brand. So that looks really cool. So this will be fun for some of my um, elk that I got. I could put this in elk or something. Or pork brisket, you know. But yeah, that's good. I got that big pork belly. Maybe I could use some of it for that. And then they sent me some oak flint flour blend which is gluten-free, all-purpose, and you just substitute this in quick breads and muffins, one-to-one -one ratio. So that's awesome. And then someone sent me a dress. In this dress. Nice little dress. And this guy is a little, a little boobalicious, you know, but just got a little snap here. So you can, you know, be proper. Yeah, this is great. I love flower prints and stuff like this. Like, you guys are so good to me. You even got my size right and everything. Like, that, that's skill. Like, I think it's risky buying clothes for a woman, but I'm not a clothes person, so I wouldn't know what kind of clothes to buy, but you guys are so good. Like, you're just being observant enough to send me stuff that you know that I would like, you know? I love it. Oh, Jamie, good morning. Good morning, Lana. Good morning. Good morning, IBA. How are you? Oh, Renee. Thank you for saying your name. Drink your coffee. Thank you, Renee. I'm trying to remember, like, everybody who's here who has a different um, YouTube name that's not their actual name. I'm trying really hard to remember people's names who are here all the time. The dress is pretty. It is pretty. I really like it. So, um, I washed it and... So I'm going to be wearing that. I'm especially excited for spring. Like, I just love dresses so much. I'll wear them in the summer. I'll just put, like, leggings under them or, shoot, sometimes I wear my jeans under them. <coughs> <coughs> Ugh, still happy to love them. I'm about to head off, Mama Bear. Do you have a great rest of the day? You too as well, Edward. Thank you for stopping by. Like, I don't have too much time to talk. I got, like, a couple more minutes before I have to start getting everything ready. Get husband up. Good morning, Caitlin from Northern Michigan. Is it cold there? Pretty cold here right now. That's for sure. But that's why we moved here is for the cold and snow. We did get some fresh snow, um, but we still haven't. All the snow we've had from the first snow is not even melted yet. So some of it has, and then it's refroze. So then there's ice under the snow. Great. But they do a really good job taking care of the actual highways here. So it's just kind of like our driveway and the back road that's kind of um compacted with snow and slippery but the rest of the roads are pretty fine i think everyone is hacking and coughing this time of year yes it is like and there's been major sickness this year i feel like everybody's been constantly sick with something or another like as soon as you get over something you get another one you know but i did find some um elderberry is that what they're called what is the is that is that right elderberry the um the stuff that's supposed to be super good for you um, it's like dark purple. I found some gummies <clears throat> that a friend had gave me. So, I bought all my clothes at Goodwill. Me too, Tamara. I hardly ever get new clothes. <coughs> like, brand new new clothes. If I do, they're on clearance. 
just for some reason, like, I don't put much value in clothes. Like, I don't, like, I would, I can drop, like, 50 bucks going out to eat with the family and feel for, perfectly fine with that. But a shirt, I'm like, $10 for a shirt, you know, that you're going to wear all year long, probably for multiple years. But I'm like, that just seems outrageous to me because that's, I don't put a lot of value in clothes, though. So, that's why I like the clothing, like this one was only, I think like $7 from the uh, website. So those are really not bad and this is super comfy. Like I'm definitely suggesting this one. Mm, it's huggable, you know, like it makes you want to hug. Mm, big squeeze. So yes, I feel the same way though. I'm just not, like I don't go buy new clothes. I buy all my jeans from Goodwill if I get a good pair of jeans. Elderberry gummies. Okay, thank you Renee. <coughs> Goodness. Let's see. Calamine says, me too. My mom was a thrifter, so I grew up doing everything secondhand except for undergarments. Yes, I agree completely. I just had to order Betty Jane some more. They're getting so big. I'm from lower Michigan, and we have very mild winter. The higher today is going to be 30 degrees. Oh, yeah, that's not too bad, Jamie. And so if I have a friend who's in Florida, and she's like, oh, my gosh, it's going to be 40 tomorrow. I'm like, oh, my gosh, you poor thing. <laughs> so it gets only negative nine here. <laughs> Oh, uh, as you can tell, just not used to the cold, you know. I'm in Massachusetts and waiting for our chickens and ducks to start laying. Went to get eggs at Costco and there were none left. Wow, we have 12 hens and 8 female ducks. Awesome. Do you like duck eggs? I don't mind duck, duck eggs, but my husband is allergic to it. Something about the proteins different in there versus chicken eggs. So you can be allergic to chicken eggs and not duck eggs. And you can be allergic to duck eggs and not chicken eggs. <coughs> so that's kind of cool. I mean, there's a lot of people with egg allergies, so I don't know if switching to duck eggs would be a better solution for that. I'm not sure, but the duck eggs make my husband violently ill. Like, he gets stomach cramps and then pukes, and he's a violent, I mean, probably TMI, but a violent puker, you know, and it just makes his whole body sore because he does it so bad. And I'm just like, dang, it took us a couple of cooking times to realize that that's what he was allergic to and it was causing his sickness. So he better not make me mad because we got duck eggs too. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Good morning, my kids, and I adore your videos. I hope the hater comments aren't getting to you. You're helping a large audience and encourage me to be resourceful so I never stop. Oh, thank you, Carrie. And they don't get to me. I mean, they used to when I first started my channel because I wasn't used to actually being told that stuff to my face. Well, through the computer screen. You know, like, people call me freeloaders and just stuff like that. Like, that has really simmered down. When I first started doing the food make hauls, I got them a lot. And now I think I've kind of, like, weeded through all of the haters. <laughs> well, I mean, there's always more out there. And as your channel grows, you're going to get just as many haters as you are supporters. But actually, that's not true. I get a lot more supporters than I do haters. And I do share my hate comments on Facebook not as a way to get you guys to make me feel better because they made me feel crap, but just because I know there's a lot of people who haven't gone to the food bank until they saw my channel and I give them the encouragement to go because they're afraid of people having those comments toward, towards them. So whenever somebody does a comment like that towards me, I address that comment to them and then I post that on my Facebook just so people can see how I respond and just how ludicrous that comment really is and to kind of just debunk it. So everybody in my Facebook group or my circle knows that this is not true if someone says this to you and here's the reasons why. And I love that you guys jump in there and also provide reasons as to why whatever comment they said to me is not true. So that's really why I do that. It doesn't really bother me too much. Last time I just laugh at it because, you know, these people don't know. They don't know my life. They don't know my food bank. They don't know my my family, you know. So you've just got to take everything with a grain of salt and just know that, you know, they're not, they, I don't know if they just got hate in their life or if they truly think that I'm the problem with the, the, the world is people like me who go to the food bank when they feel like I don't need to. You know, they don't know the, the there's someone was talking today about 40% of food goes to the grocery store ends up in a dumpster or ends up wasted, you know, and it's just, so I need to research that and start talking about that more on my channel because it's a lot about food waste. Like, why should I be going and spending $50 on a turkey when they're handing them out for free at the food bank for anybody who can need one? You know, I just, I don't see, I don't see that, like, I don't see the, the, the fault in that when if no one goes to food banks, then they get shut down and then food really does go to waste. So, thank you, uh, Carrie. I try not to let it get to me, you know, and um, 
yeah, I just trying to share to everybody else that that you shouldn't let that get to you either. But I do appreciate that, you know, especially ones where they're like calling me a freeloader and then I'm teaching my kids to be a freeloader. I'm like, I don't think so. I'm teaching my kids about community and they get to go and meet people. And once they get older, they're going to be volunteering there as well. Like I can already feel it. Like I just turned in my application to start volunteering there. And I'm talking with a lady about starting to teach cooking classes there. So it took me a while to get over my, well, what do I bring to the table? Like, I didn't feel like I can volunteer because I was like, well, what can I do? You know, I don't feel like I could do a YouTube channel because, like, there's so many other channels out there that do exactly what I do. So it's like, what am I doing that's different that brings to the table? And, you know, I think it's just overall general support for people like me who need to utilize the food bank and to just teach them how to utilize it and what to do with all that stuff you know and it's made me better at utilizing stuff it's challenged me more I'm like well man that's what my channel's about I really got to do it now you know and it's made me a better cook and a better prepper and a better canner and you guys give me advice on how to cook and prep stuff and it's just so much more than I ever thought my channel would be like it's providing way more for me than just a side hustle to make extra money for my family like this these lives I live for these lives I love them I love talking to you guys and getting your ideas and your your um your feedback on stuff you know it really means a lot to me I feel like I've gained a lot of friends here that I don't really even know I needed you know but I do I really I really care for you guys and all that you do for me you know all right sorry I get a little mushy sometimes all right, blue color mine. Is it just me or Goodwill? It's expensive now. It is. You can find some good deals, but it's definitely more expensive. Like I think a dollar for a used jar is just outrageous. Um, like I would, I would think like fifty cents. But some people say that their jars at their Goodwill are five dollars each or something. I'm like, jeez. People always compliment me on my clothing, and I've actually styled a few friends and family and helped them build a new closet from all Goodwill. Good job, Tamara. That is great. Do they taste the same as chicken eggs? Um. I think they taste the same. They do get like um, a little like firmer and like you hard boil them. It's hard to kind of hot, hard boil duck eggs um, in my experience anyway. But I think they taste the same. I use them in baking. I'll scramble them and stuff. Um, just husband cannot handle it. <laughs> I try to go on these days certain color tags are on sale. I need to know that. I don't, I don't know if our Goodwill does that. I guess they have to, but um, they also send coupons on on like Instagram where one day only you get 50% off all clothing or something like that. So that's something I need to kind of look at. I, I get sick like that from licorice root. It's some tea blends and craft root beer. Yeah. Licorice root. Really interesting. Groundhog says six more weeks. I believe it. It's been a pretty cold winter this year. Well, I'll cut your live. Hi from Northeast on England. Hello, Eileen. Welcome. Oof. Hi, it's 10 degrees. I don't like it. See, that's why I've just been huddled at home. Like, I do not want to go out in the cold, take the kids out in the cold. Gideon gets super cold, too. Like, he's definitely the coldest one. I'm probably going to have to jump off here soon, kid. guys. The kids are causing a ruckus. i got to get husband up. Let's see, I don't know, but they don't taste the same. I enjoy duck eggs and quiche you use less, and it makes actually taste less, way better. Thank you, Caitlin. See, it's all about, like, um, so just quiche. I need to make a quiche. I got those pie crusts, and I have a lot of eggs. I got, like, I'm sitting on five dozen eggs now, and my girls are still laying. I have about, I think I counted 20 hens, and then we have three roosters, and then we got two ducks, um, a drake and a hen. They're, the hen's not laying yet but probably pretty soon and then we have a turkey and we're keep looking for the turkey eggs she's not she's not laying yet either so but yeah so I'm sitting on like five dozen eggs I'm like man I almost feel bad doing egg videos for the YouTube because no one else has eggs but I mean that's why we have chickens for the security of having eggs having meat we're going to be getting some meat birds as well so I started doing home care and the person I help goes to the pantry so I've been putting together pantry meals at work. Awesome. Teach your kids to be adaptable. A hundred percent. That's the best thing you could do for your kids is to teach them to be adaptable, you know, and how to do stuff for themselves. See, Jamie says my kids went to a food pantry with me in the past and they didn't think any less of me for going and enjoyed going to meet new friends with the workers. Yeah. And most people at the food pantries are so awesome, you know. Oh, good morning, Angela. How are you? I am doing great. Oh, Ashley, your hen started laying again. Yay! Yeah, it'll be nice when they lay, like, not all chickens lay every day. Some of them lay, like, every other day or a couple times a week. So that's why it's good to have a good flock 
that you'll get a good steady supply of eggs. And I was selling them, but I decided to quit doing that when they quit laying. And now I don't know if I'm going to sell them at all. I might just keep them for myself. And then once I get my freeze dryer, I can freeze dry raw eggs. Um, or you could do cooked eggs. You could scramble eggs and freeze dry them as well. So that's exciting. We have a local thrift store who always has fantastic deals on everything. Everything they make goes back to the community. That's great. Little tugs. toy box for $10. That is a good deal. Oh, I love baking with duck eggs and turkey eggs are rich and tasty. Oh, thank you, Angela. So I wonder if husband's going to be allergic to turkey eggs because he's allergic to duck eggs. <laughs> he's not going to want to figure it out. I'll be like, here, husband, just try a bite of the turkey egg. Let's see if you puke. <laughs> oh, gosh. Makes me so mad at my hubby. I keep telling him we need chicken and goats and now ducks. Yeah, like, you, it's really a thing. Like, um, did you hear about the egg plants getting burnt down? Like, a bunch of egg facilities. Oh, no, no, no. That I'm sorry. That was a seed company that got burnt down. Their storage of heirloom seeds, their whole facility, randomly went up in, in smoke and got burnt for all of their seed supply is gone for the, that they've had. So, it's like... It's a little suspicious, like a couple, was it a couple of years ago, all the, all the, um, I think it was just a year ago, the, oh, what's Azure Standards, their facilities kept getting burned down. Oh, wow, you can freeze raw eggs. Yes, you can freeze raw, raw eggs, but I was talking about freeze drying. It's a little different. It's like a big machine where it removes the moisture from it and it preserves it so you can have like food if you store it correctly good for up to like 25 years so you would take eggs put it in the freeze dryer and then that's how you can do it but you can also just regular freeze eggs as well some people will like crack them into muffin tins and then freeze them there and then take them out and then so you know you have one egg proportion so that's something you can do oh good morning deborah you love watching me and my family. Oh, thank you. Oh, and you're from Missouri. That's awesome. I used to come from Missouri, so. I used to come. I guess I have come from Missouri. I lived there for a while. <coughs> oh, no, that's horrible. I have to read that seed company. Yeah, it was, um, it was like, um, a family-owned seed company, too. I, if husband was up, he would tell me the name of them. I'd rather get help than not have food for my children and get in trouble because I don't have sufficient food for my kids. And even when they didn't have much, my kids still wanted to give back to others. Yeah, and that's what you do. If, oh, good morning, Black Rabbit. If you teach your kids to not only, like, accept help, but to give help as well. So you accept the help from things that either you can't do or you need... <coughs> or you just need help with, and then you give your help with what you can offer, you know? Like, for example, with my friend wanting to get rid of her freezer full of crab-smelling food... You know, she just couldn't mentally deal with all of that. And to her, it was worth just having me come over and giving me all that food because she was going to throw it away anyway. And to me, it's worth dealing with crab smells and having to clean a big freezer full of crabby stuff to get all of this free food. You know, so it's really great to work that you, you find people that you really benefit from each other, you know, and you help each other. Usually, if you're allergic to chickens, you can eat duck and vice versa, but not a lot of talk of game eggs like turkey, guineas, kale, even quail. Not kale. <laughs> we even eat our peacock eggs when I don't want to incubate. Oh my gosh, Angela, my daughter wants a peacock so bad. Peacocks and emus, she is obsessed with. So we're probably eventually going to end up getting peacocks. Holy moly. Well, that's good. We'll just have to experiment with the turkey eggs and we'll just give them a little bite and <laughs> wait and see how it goes. Because I would really like to, um, I would really like to be able to cook with them, you know. I got your email clickling, but I don't think it works. Okay, I will try again, Black Rabbit. Have you ever grown microgreens? I have not. Oh, Linda, thank you. I have not grown microgreens before. But guys, I do have to get off here because it's getting close to getting husband up. I gotta get breakfast going, get coffee going from everything, but... I really enjoyed talking to you guys, and thanks again for everybody who sent me all this cool stuff. I really appreciate it. Like, you guys are so good to me, and I really love it. Thanks for chatting with me, everybody. Yeah, I love the mail, see? Dollar at Goodwill. That's what I'm talking about. But yeah. So, yeah, you guys have a wonderful day as well. You have pigeons. They're super cool, but I don't eat their eggs. <laughs> yeah, pigeon eggs. They're super tiny, right? <laughs> Thanks so much for jumping in and chatting with me, guys. I hope you have a good day as well. I'll catch you on my next premiere or my next, next live. Hopefully, I'll have a video coming out today. I need to get over there and do it. I'm going to be dehydrating some fruit leather. So, it's going to just be a short video. I just got to do a sponsor in the, a sponsor video. Um, 
And then I have like a backlog of videos, you know. Oh, it's so hard being an influencer. It's just so busy, you know. <laughs> All right, guys. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up for this. Thank you so much for being here and supporting me. I really love you guys. I hope